Shalom, family. Shalom. Just wanted to do a little video and discuss a few things. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. All I got to say is, man, you know, all these false doctrines is grievous. It grieves me. You know, it grieves me. You know, you have your, like, you got to be careful to for these content creators you listen to because, yeah, you might have your favorite Israelite teachers and Israelite content creators, but most of your favorite content creators, they will end up be going off, you know, because I just I just unsubscribed from a channel. They um twisting scriptures. They talking about that the book of Leviticus, like all the sacrifices they did in Leviticus, the animal sacrifice is almost, it's like voodoo. They, they blasphemy, man. I had to unsubscribe from them brothers. You know, I just keep my ears to the street, but that was the last freaking straw. That was the last freaking straw. And then they talking about, they want them to say it's eating meat is harmful to you. Even the clean meats that Leviticus chapter 11 tell us we could eat. Yes, it's true our food is defiled and they kill the animals in more barbaric ways because they showed a video too called Meat Horror, trying to guilt trip you for not eating meat. You know, like one of them slaughterhouse videos, it's called Meat Harbor. It's not for the faint of heart, but I'm sorry. They could show the most guilt tripping slaughterhouse videos. That's not going to stop the majority of people from eating meat. You know, everybody can't afford to be a damn vegan or a vegetarian, you know, and you're going to eventually want to crave meat, especially if you grew up eating meat for years. You're going to eventually, man, come on. That's what I see. You got to You got to read for yourself. You got to stop listening to these content creators that want to go into deeper and deeper study. Because when you go into deeper and deeper study, you're going to start uh, going mad. You're going to go crazy. Hold on. Let me get that scripture in the Ecclesiastes. Yeah, let's get a scripture. Because Israel, you know, they got that as a problem. Reading all, going into these deeper and deeper studies that's outside the Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and it reads, verse 12, and it reads, And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end, and much study, and much study is awareness of the flesh. And that's what I see with those two brothers. Their flesh is being weary. They're reading all these outside books. And I mean, when I mean outside books, they're going. Even further than the um traditional outside books, like the Apocrypha, Book of Joshua, they going into all these other books. They want to say the Bible is tampering, but they read, excuse me, but they reading other books that the Gentiles wrote that are selling false truths. You know, you gotta be aware of Israelites out there that saying the Bible is tampering. That's to show a lot of their faith. They just don't believe this Bible, man. They need to just put this Bible down. You got a lot of false teachers out there picking up the Father's word. They need to put the damn book down, man, and just go back into the world. They might as well just go into the um, dark arts. Go practice the dark arts. Go be a Druid. Go to Ireland and Scotland and be a goddamn Druid, man. Go go be a pagan. You know, put the Bible down and go be a pagan. If you want to say the Bible is tampering, put the book down and go be a goddamn pagan, man. You know, because the word let, you know, hold on. Y'all probably know where I'm going. They always want to see this. They want to guilt trip. I mean, they want us to starve, man. You ain't gonna be able to be a vegan, man. Every, now, if you could, if you want to be a vegan, a vegetarian, more power to you. But I'm sorry, brother Moshe Ben gonna continue to eat his meat. That's lawful. You know, that's lawful compared to that's lawful that the Book of Leviticus chapter 11 speak of. But hold up, man. Let me get that scripture in Romans chapter 3 when it says, let every, um, you know where I'm going. Y'all probably know where I'm going. Yeah, Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3, verse 4. And it reads, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified and die. Sayings. And mighty is overcome when thou art judged. I mean, the brothers was just twisting scriptures and stuff. You know, I feel sorry for Israel, man. He being led astray. I mean, it's just like false doctrine everywhere now. 
You could eat meat, family. You know, you read the book of Leviticus chapter 11. It's going to tell you the difference between the clean and unclean meats. You know, now if you want to be a vegetarian, because all food is defiled, that's what they fail to realize. They want to guilt trip people from, now don't get it twisted. Yeah, they slaughter the animals in a barbaric way. It's gruesome. It's barbaric. And that's, and that's, and the most high looks down on that. But that could have all been avoided by our ancestors, then broke the laws and went into captivity. And then we're in the time of the Gentiles. You could expect the Gentiles to do that because they are barbarians. They are the true barbarians. The Gentile nations are the true barbarians of the earth. Come on now, you got the, what, the Celtics, the Vikings, man, the Saxons, man. They was all warring with each other, man. They was warring with each other and still to this day. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, they come to America, they say we all Caucasians, but they still, deep down inside, they still hate each other guts. Because they know they hit lineage. They come from them different Japhetic barbarian tribes, man. Real talk. But hold on, let me get us that Ezekiel about the food. Hold up. Being defiled. Let me get that Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 4. They want to twist scriptures, man. I unsolved them, man. I unsolved them. I see why, you know, the elders of, you know, split from them. When they had that big split and at the reward show. You know. It's sad to see that, you know, it's sad. And I know yeah, a lot of Israelites hold these consecrators to high esteem. But I mean, it's like once they start going into them deeper studies, man, they start bugging out. You know, like one of the brothers, you know, he even mentioned the Anunnaki. Now they gonna start teaching about the Anunnaki. You know, they might as well start teaching mythology and all that. But um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Hold up. Ezekiel chapter 4. Make sure. There we go. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. And it reads And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat they defiled bread amongst who? The Gentiles among Esau. No, the Gentiles. And the Lord said, Even thus. Shall the children of Israel eat they defile bread among the Gentiles? Whether I will drive them, whether I will drive them. So it don't matter where our people scatter at. It could be in the Caribbean, the UK, Canada, America, China, Japan. It don't matter. Are we gonna, our food going to be defiled, whether you're a vegetarian or a um, carnivore. And, you know, that's what they call meat eaters, carnivore or omnivore. When you eat plants and vegetables, that's an omnivore. You eat anything. You know, the food is going to be defiled. And it said amongst who? The Gentiles. And the Gentiles are ruling right now. The Gentiles are ruling. And they have these slaughterhouses. And, you know, they kill the animals in unlawful. I mean, they do barbarian things. You know, I saw the video they showed on the um, live stream. It was called Meat Horror. Y'all can watch it if y'all want. But I advise y'all not to watch it. It's not for the fan of heart. You know, it's the way they slaughter them animals in the slaughterhouse is barbaric. It's demonic. You know. It, it it will it will make you cry if you if you got a pure heart you know it will make you feel some type of way but I'm sorry I you know I feel bad for the animals but that's not gonna stop me from eating meat man you gotta understand our food gonna be defiled you know we I'm not starving brother Moshe ain't not gonna starve himself you know and I know y'all ain't gonna do the same you know let me read that again Ezekiel chapter four verse thirteen it says and the Lord said even thus even thus shall the children of Israel eat they defile bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. I don't take it literally because somebody say, oh, he's talking about bread, sir. Or brother's talking. About, no, bread could be a meaning for food too. bread. It could mean it means food, whether it's plant based food or meat. You know. You know, real talk, even if it's talking about bread in this um, verse. You know, it's still food. Bread is food, right? Bread is food. So, wherever we at, our food gonna be defiled, man. You know, whether you get, even if you shop at Whole Food, yeah, the food claiming to be organic and plant based and all that, but that's still defiled too, man. Come on now, man. We in the time of the Gentiles, but family, I just wanted to touch base on that. You know, it's sad to see a lot of Israelite, big Israelite childs, you know. They start going into these deeper books and these deeper studies instead of stick to the precepts out of the mouth all two. And that's another thing. They wasn't out of, they wasn't operating out of the mouth all two or three. They was all over the place. That was all over the place.
you know. And to say that the Levitical animal sacrifices they did in Leviticus is voodoo, man, that's blasphemy, man. You know, they want to compare that to voodoo, you know. I mean, and then they're going to have the nerve to say, oh, no, y'all scary now, y'all being scary. No, y'all twisting the word. Y'all should be afraid. Y'all twisting the word. Y'all twisting the word. Straight up. They are twisting the word. And a lot of Israelites are blind to see that because they don't read for themselves. They don't read for themselves, man. And that's sad. You know, yeah, let's get another scripture. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 2, and it reads, Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. So you see, they adding to the word, man. They adding and taking away from the word when they going into these deeper and deeper outside books. And what I mean by further, further studies, they going, they not even reading the book of Enoch and Jashin. They going into other sources. They believe, they going into other belief systems and trying to mix it up with the Bible. They going crazy, man. I'm telling you, people better wake up, man. Israel better wake up. They better wake up. You know, and this is not an attack on them. It's an attack on a false doctrine, man. It's an attack on a false doctrine. I'm just bad. I'm just being spreading awareness out there. You know, I'm just spreading awareness, man. You gotta be circumspect. You know, you have to be circumspect. Straight up. Yeah, let's get another scripture. Revelations chapter 22. Revelations chapter 22. Verse 18, and it reads, For I testify unto every man that hear the words of this prophecy, of this book, of this book. What book? The Holy Bible. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Woo! So you see, man, you want to add, you want to add um, outside, you know, like start talking about outlandish stuff and want to say, oh, man. The scriptures all tamper with, you know, it's not, it don't mean that, you know, it, it, they just add to the word. Let me get it again. For I testify unto every man that hear the words of this, of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Mm. Mm. So you see, and you know, they want to twist the scriptures like that, you know. They want to talk about that the prophets of the Bible speak against eating meat and all that. You know? I mean, you got to stop. You got to be careful who you listen to. You know? And I know that's what's wrong with Israel. They want to go to the big channels with big statuses. They got a lot of subscribers. Just because a channel have a lot of subscribers, that don't mean they teaching real doctrine. They teaching, that could mean they could be teaching false doctrine. Especially if they doing it for money. And I know they're going to have some of the defenders they want to call. They'll probably call us detractors. Let them call us detractors, man. We're the cleanup crew. We clean up false doctrine by the power of the Most High in Christ through his word, man. We attack false doctrine. We ain't attacking people. We're attacking a false doctrine because false doctrine are leading people astray. It's leading people, you know, astray, man. You know, salvation or damnation, man. Which one you want? The choice is y'all's. Salvation or damnation, man. But I'm sorry, man. I'm going to continue to eat meat. You know, the meat that is lawful, you know, in Leviticus chapter 11, you know, we know not to eat the swine, the crab, the lobster, you know, the shellfish and the other beastly type animals like dogs, cats, you know, and, the, and owls and you know, doves, you know, we could eat chicken. You know, you got some Israelites say chicken and turkey is unclean, you know, that's debatable, but you know, you just got Israelites out there. They don't want us to eat anything. They just want us to freaking starve, man. It's because they get some deeper, deeper knowledge that ain't real deep knowledge and nothing but just buffoonery. They want to turn everybody else to buffoon. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short, family. You know, I pray all is well with y'all, man. Shout out to the CUC, man. Y'all stay prayed up. You know, y'all take it one day at a time, man. You know, I know we all going through it. You know, Israel going through it. And we got to deal with false doctrine too on top of that. You know, just got to take it one day at a time. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. So I say shalom and peace. And I bid y'all y'all speed in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Shalom.